Mimi speaker hiki kizungu mingi mimi najua kuongea kizungu na hizi kizungu mingi haitaki siasa hapa saa hii. I want to continue like this. Hizi kizungu mingi mnaniambia unless you are new in this country. Mr speaker let me continue now. Let us stop these acrobats. I think he was clarifying something. Remember, I'm so eclair than you, and you have to respect that. As the majority leader, you know that. I'm more eclair than you. We meet your time for We make it time. Or more. acrobats, man. You are taking a lot of time discussing nothing here now. Let someone come here and discuss what you want to say here. For me, allow me to continue. I'm giving you time. Can you clarify something? I think he has a point, a very valid point. Yeah, your statement. Aya, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I can't apologize. Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, allow me to say this. Ongoja, Ongoja, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Sunyamaze na ni utakuja kusema. Lakini njini wenye mumekorea kwa hii nyumba ni yungu naharibu. Muna tuwanya kia nifitia kani. Good observation, sir. Mr. Speaker, allow me to say this. Nataka kusema kakisa hili. Hii bunge kila mta kwa opinion yake. Na hizi kizungu mingi muna sema. Tulianza kusema hapa like 8 years ago. And majority leader knows that. Second, I am entitled to my opinion. Yes. Utakuja hapa useme vile unataka kusema because here we are just giving our opinions. Third, Mr. Speaker, Pastor, catch it. They were kuja to Chicago for Mojas, they are shooting a certain program. Wakati mutu and a shout in Apple, program in Arabic. Yes, so mutu a cue and a flow to Lana Maza. Let me continue, Pastor Nisawa. What will go in your mother, Pastor? Mr. Speaker, I want to say this. Hizi mzungu au oh, nani? Pasta, ka hapo hiyo story she. Aya oda. Oda oda oda. Order, 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 members. Let me say this now. In a serious note now. In a serious note. Give me my time now. Kwa sababu, sato kianza kuhekol. Mimi nita hekol mtu hapa mta ongea. And you know, ata imu kutawadu neza ribu. Continue. Continue. Aya, Mr. Speaker. I want to say this. I'm entitled to my, my opinion. And I'm talking on my behalf. So kitu nataka kusema hapa. Weo ngoja utakuja kusema yako hapa. Kesho ama kesho kutua. The impeached deputy president. Na ikakua gazetted as impeached. Kama muta mekua impeached is a former. And that's the truth. And we have a nominated, which was in fact confirmed and as appointed deputy president. Through Kenya Gazette. Mimi nataka kumuambia Rigathi Gashagwa Joffrey. As Kenyans we have no problem with Rigathi Gashagwa. Hapa Kenya, kila mtu akona, akona haki yake ya kuwa mkenya. Vile rigathi kashagwa kona haki, vile mini kona haki. Na my point is this, Mr. Speaker. Unajua hapa bunge, 
Watu wako na vitu mingi kila mtu anajua vile anajua. Na mimi Sijaongea. I'll give you time to contribute. No time for it. Waja tunachukua 2 minutes. I'll give you time. I'll give you time. Waja maliza utakuja kutangia. Apana inaruhusiwa. Can we go with can we go with the standing order no, speaker? Broken. Order. Thank you. The speaker have ruled that at a power time. Let us continue. I'll give you time to contribute. Yes. Point of information. That's the point of speaker. Ganga, you will contribute. You will contribute. What can a speaker decide, boy? Ganga will contribute. You will contribute. You will contribute at a time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I think Speaker have ruled that Nganga will contribute, will contribute but no point of him. order. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. After him. Yes. Hey. Mimi na sema hivi. You will contribute. I just taking two minutes. Two minutes ninge kwa nimemaliza. Banata mimi ndio kazirika bwana. Mwaje kunipima kili sasa. Mwaje kunipima kili bwana. Let me contribute. You keep distracting my point every time and again. Set camera sasa nani? Geto tuende. I want to say this to Mr. Geoffrey Rikazi Kashagwa. Goja, 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 goja. Nani ngoro Thank you. I want to say this. Mimi my point is this. Nani, we hori boy no, wacha na huyo jamaa bana. I want to contribute the other and discuss the time and again. Ah, we kuenda bana. I wanted to say this Mr. Speaker. Me I respect the Gathe Gashagwa so much. But we have to respect even this our country. Kwa sababu pale tulikuwa tunaelekea. Hakuna mtu angependa atengwe kama mkenya. I want to feel a Kenyans hata nikienda Central. But kukuja kutuambia ati kuna kuna mkenya, kuna mtu wa mlima, kuna mtu wa sijui mrima na whatever. Hapo ndio tulikuwa na differ na the, the former deputy president. Yes. Na mimi nasema hivi very simple. Nasema hivi very simple. Ya pili. Hatuwezi kaa unajua hii maneno kitu gaza alikuwa anataka kusema. Tunasema hapa hizi vitu when something goes around comes around, si ndio? Naweza kumbuka July tukiwa hapa tunakimbia kwa street na Raila Molo Dinga. Jamaa alikuwa pale Juja akiwa pale Mangu High School. Akasema vizuri bwana, hawa watu tutawarudishia security wakati wamewacha maandamano after three months. Sasa mimi nilika kwa TV nikaona ndugu yangu ametoka pale na Rafo SUV. Nikasema hizi security pia tunataka kufanya nayo kazi. Because kuna wimbo zingine tunasikia wakipa hapa watu wa mlima hata sisi tunaogopa. Lazima tuweke ma security wengi kuchunguza hizo wimbo wanaimba vitu gani. Ya tatu. Sisi hatuna shida ni gadhi gashago hata tukimwambia bye bye. Kwa sababu we are, we are going to benefit hii kitu tulisema hii lazima ni ya mlima. Hata tukitoa tukitoa kindiki leo lazima turudisha hiyo kitu kwa mlima. Sasa watu wa mlima nyinyi mjipange. Hiyo kiti ni yenu. Tunatoa kindiki tunaweka mtu wa mlima mwingine. Tunatoa nini tunaweka hiyo kitu ya mlima. So muzipige kelele sana. So ndio kuna babu tu, kwa sababu tulikuwa naambia watu wa mlima. Tulika chini wa, na watu wa Embu na watu wa Meru na watu wa wa, 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 wa ki, ni, gema yote taraka wakasema enyewe tumetembea na ndugu zetu sana. Mimi natoka Nyanza wakatuambia tumetembea na ndugu zetu sana. Na ndugu zetu tumetembea nao wameshindana kusema tu ni Nyeri Kiambu. Nyeri Kiambu. Na wanasema sisi ni wakikuyu. Tukawauliza nyinyi mnataka tuwasaidie namna gani? Wakasema sisi shida yetu ni moja tu. Kura mnataka tu wale ma MPs wenyu wapige kura. Sisi hatukuchagua William Ruto. William Ruto alitoka kwa Mungu tatuliambia watu wa Central ndio walituambia. Huyo ni ndugu wa Kristo, ndugu wa Yesu. Atungepinga ndugu wa Yesu. Alituambia au jamaa ametoka huko kwa Kristo. Na tukas, wakasema ni maombi. Na tukisikia wakinapasa kama hao watatuambia ati wameanza kusema ati hii tunafaa kuongea my friend. Sisi katibi inasema vizuri. If the misconduct ya deputy ama president. Hawa bunge wako na authority on our behalf. 
kuenda kukaa chini na kuangalia shida zake sisi hata tuliona pale senate Rikati Kashago walimreport na, na 11 accounts lakini wakasema tano na ilimshika but hizi sita si hata wenyewe na macho mliona hakuna kitu ilikuwa pale na kwa hizi tano tunasema Mr Speaker aenda reform zuri after 10 years atakuja kama me reform because si miaka mingi sana ni 10 years tu lafa na kuja tena na hii kitu tujachukua tumeenda nayo mlema eh, tumetoa mlima Kindiki pia ni mwanadamu na ni pia ni one of members of gema kuja kukoroga mimi ni Mr Speaker nikimaliza nikisema hii nasikia wengine wanasema oh marara hilo dinga nilikuwa nasikia hii mwendazimu anaitwa Kimani Kinjuri anakuja kusema ati Railo Dinga alienda hapo akafanya tukakorogewa my friend wewe ushaona mwanaume analia before atakupigwa mtoto jakufa bibi jakufa mama jakufa baba jakufa mwanaume unatoa machozi mwanaume ai ai Mr Speaker hata kama ni hivyo Tukimaliza Mr Speaker nikimaliza in 30 seconds in 30 seconds Mr Speaker Kuna hii group inakuja hapa ati wanasema ati sisi oh wajaluo mara nini mara waluya my friend sisi vita zenyu 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 vita No we not give you chance. No. Vita zenyu. Hatuta vita zenyu watu kama Mount Kenya. We are ready. We are ready. The parting shot, we are ready. We are ready for 2027. And this is the first thing, the first time. The first time. The first, the first time we are going to see Mount Kenya are going to vote for Bunge la Mwananchi. Bunge la Mwananchi. Bunge la Mwananchi tunakuanga hapa kufundishana. I mean kuelimishana na kujua zaidi na siku kufanya tu vitu kisaiko fancy. Kwa kweli kitu iko rigadi gashagwa bado ni deputy president of this republic of kenya upende usipende gashagwa bado ni deputy president lakini kisiasa gashagwa ni former deputy president kisiasa kuna tofauti ya siasa na sheria kuna tofauti ya siasa na she na sheria. Nao tunafuata sheria sasa. Sheria iko hivi. Ukiangalia vitu ziliendelea pale Senate azikufuata utaratibu zote ambayo inafai fuatiliwe. Koti imesimamisha na koti lazima tuheshimu sheria. Kama tunataka hii nchi iwe inchi ya sheria lazima tuheshimu koti lakini nikirudi kisiasa Kenya yetu ni kama tunafanya bendova dance tunafanya bendova dance saa hii tumechanganyikiwa hadi mtu ambaye anajiita rais ana ana nini yani anaandika oath eti anaenda ili aende kotini wakati gani umeona president akienda kotini hata uru kenyata alijaribu wakati wa e, nini ile ile nini yao na raila ilikuwa inaitwa nini bbi na koti limkataza ya kwamba aezi fanya nini aizienda kusimama pale na hii tumechanganyikiwa hadi rais mwenyewe amenini off ujinga tupu kwa hii nchi yetu ujinga tupu Now Mimi mimi sishughuliki na wapiga kelele. Mimi najaribu kuelimisha watu. Kenya Kenya malituko saa hii. Kenya malituko saa hii. Kenya malituko saa hii. Hawa watu wa Kenya kuisha hawa. Yule pasta 
aliomba maombi ya haki na ni ukweli Mungu alikuwa na yeye wakati alikuwa naomba wakati alisema Mungu hii Kenya kuisha na yenyewe ilikuwa Kenya kuisha saa hii ndio tunaona Kenya inaisha Kenya inaisha namna gani hapa tunaona kama mtu atalambishwa chini ni katiba ndio inaenda kukua bend tuongee ukweli Tusi, mtu asipoenda chini katiba ndio ita a, achiliwa kwa saa hii hatuna IEBC ni nani ata declare the seat of the deputy president vacant tujiulize maswali mingi haya naendelea naendelea ya yeah, in 2 minutes waambie wanyamaze waambie wanyamaze sababu nikiendelea ni na wapige kelele taendelea sana nimemaliza nini haya i'm the senior council here i'm the former speaker and i know the rules of this country now e kesi ambaye rigadhi ya shagwa ameweka kotini mara nasikia ingine iko nyeri mara ingine iko wapi mara ingine iko wapi mara ingine iko hapa nawaambia kama kweli ruto kama kweli ruto atafuata katiba vile uhuru alikuwa anafuata hadi anaacha vitu zake zinanguka hii kesi Musione ikiisha saa hii hii kesi taenda zaidi ya miaka tatu. na Rigathi Gachagu atakuwa deputy president until 2027 na weather weather Gachagu weather Gachagu weather weather Gachagu atapewa security tena weather weather Gachagu atakuwa na security lakini ya muhimu ni bora baada anaitwa nani deputy president na anakula nini anakula mshahara so hakuna kitu ambaye ya watu wanafanya huu mtu atakuwa anakula mshahara ya bure na atakuwa baada anaitwa deputy eh, president so na nikimalizia bwana speaker nikimalizia nikimalizia bwana speaker Nikimalizia. Kwa saa hii deputy president ambaye ni Rigathi Gachagua analia ya kwamba ameachwa bila security. Mbona kuna Kiswahili ambaye inasema hivi, nyani aoni kundule. Huyu huyu Rigathi huyu huyu Rigathi. Wakati uhuru alikuwa anasema ya kwamba e, ma security wake wamechukuliwa. Alisema nini? Aliambia Uru Kenyatta aende achukue KK nini? KK Security. So hata pia sisi hapa tunamwambia akachukue G4S imlinde ama aende kwa watu wa milima. Aende kwa watu wa milima wamlinde. Lakini ukweli nabaki bado yeye ni deputy president. Uh, and these three arms of government work independently and somehow they are dependent one of the things you have to understand my my brother here the main arm of the government that is mandated to make law is the legislature or the national assembly where we have the upper house and the lower house once they are made laws these laws are carried to the executive what is the main function of the executive the main function of the executive is to enforce a law which has been made from the parliament When these laws have been uh, passed to the executive, they carry them to the people. They sensitize their needs and the importance of these laws. After that, should anybody break these laws that have been passed, this law, this one proceed to the judiciary, where their main sole mandate is to interpret the law so that there is justice and fairness to the people. Uh, back to your question, young man. You stated very well that These things were passed and uh, you are not uh, happy with them. Let me tell you one thing. The main 
sole mandate of legislature, apart from just uh, making law, we have what's called representation. Being that we are a democratic country, an MP represents your wishes and your aspiration of the constituents. For instance now, I'm a member from Alego Songa. In Alego Songa, my MP, Samuel Latandi, represent my wishes and aspiration to the national government. Whenever he talks, a total of 120,000 votes in Alego Songa constituency have been fully represented. Whenever he pronounces anything in the parliament, we believe that our needs, our interest, our failure have already been addressed there. So whether you are not happy or you are happy with the way the impeachment motion was passed, it was about representation. All of us, we can't fix in the National Assembly. We are almost six, 65 million. We can't fix there. And we must agree that we must delegate our powers to these people. Once we have delegated the, our powers to them, they are the one now to implement what you have given to them. Back to the current issue that is there in the court, according to the way my brother have already spoken. Uh, the, the Gashagwa faction were very sure that, the first they were sure with the, the, the Senate, they were not sure with the National Assembly. And they said that they will be given a fair hearing. And in, indeed, a fair hearing was given. Gashagwa was there. He prosecuted his case. But the, the day that he was supposed now to explain thoroughly, he failed. And due to time, there are things we can't postpone. Their nature cannot allow us to postpone them. There are things the nature itself cannot allow us to postpone. An impeachment motion against the pres deputy president, we cannot allow that. We can't postpone that one now. We can postpone any other thing. Should anything happen to the president, then we don't have the deputy president. We'll be in a, in a constitutional crisis. Because we'll have two deputies, we'll be scrambling for that opportunity. What will happen? So they said very well that they are sure of court uh, uh, assembly. Assembly has already done their work. It has now to the court. Now, they are now against the three beds that were constituted by the, the Supreme Court judge. My question to them, do you want to be the Supreme Court judge? You can't be the player at the same time you want to be the referee. You decide one thing, either be a player or be a referee. The referee is Chief Justice Martha Kome. The way during our time, we disagree with the court by respecting the ruling. 2022, our 11 point agenda, our petition, were quashed, term null and void, hot air. We disagree, but we respect the ruling of the court. And that's called democracy, as defined by Abraham Lincoln, the rule of majority. That's why the three bench judges that represent the entire uh, 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 justice that will be there, the court. So let them now accept the value that will be passed there. Number two, uh, the other issue that uh, my, my learned friend here talked about was about the constitution of the IBC. My brother, as per the 2010 constitution, it was really spelled out how IBC should be constituted. Whether we don't have commissioners does not mean that we don't have IBC. IBC exists. That IBC that cleared these candidates in 2022, they were cleared. And I think they presented their papers, all they were cleared. Which IBC did you want to clear them again? If this candidate was cleared in 2017, he was found to be fit to hold any public office as MP. So long as you qualify to hold any constitutional office as, as a MP, you automatically qualify when you hold a bachelor degree. And I, I, th I think they should question how he obtained his bachelor degree in law. These are professor of law. That is what they should go and question, but they should not question how the IBC passed there. Already he was cleared by IBC 2022 general election. And that time, all the six commissioners were there. And as for now, we are still having IBC it is there. The secretariat, that is one that carry all the functions. 
That's what is there. So I don't know why you're arguing that how oh, this guy was not clear with the IBC. He was clear with the IBC. The only thing is to verify whether this guy met the requirement threshold of the constitution. He met. There is a member with a rising on a point of order. Yeah, point of order. If you don't mind. Thank you. Stand close to you. Just stand close to because you are rising on a point of order. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yeah. The the current be louder. The current speaker. He says that Kindiki was cleared by the IBC in 2022. Yes. Kindiki never contested for any seat in 2022. Yes. He never vied for any seat. So in 2022, he was not cleared. And it is so clear that the commissioners, not the secretariat, the commissioners are the ones who clear somebody. And that is why there is a constituency they wanted to recall their MP. And the Secretariat said the IBC is not constituted. So don't cheat people, please. Okay. Okay, let me remind you, Mzee. Mzee, listen. Maybe you elaborate. I just want to elaborate. Listen. The Secretariat is the employee of the IBC. I want to repeat. The Secretariat is the employee of the IBC being led by the CEO, Marjan Hussein Marjan. The Secretariat is the employee of the IBC. The commissioners employ them. The main function of the commissioners there is just to pass policies. Their main mandate there is about policy. This one, go and take and read. You have to go and read the Election Act in Kenya. What is your point of order? What is your point of order? Gani? Let him clarify. Order, order. Yes. Kindly, members. Order, let him clarify. I would like to clarify this. Clarify. The member on the floor is misleading the house. Yes. Currently, as we are talking here in Kenya, we've got two constituencies who doesn't have the MPs and several wards who doesn't have the MCS. Why are we not holding the elections? Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Hey, you, are, you are. Can I, uh, can I answer Muzay's uh, question and his question together? Because they are very simple questions. These are house as fly questions. Number one, I want to be clear here. Let me simplify the ambiguity that is in the house. For me to clear this thing, you have to understand that now. When IBC was constituted, it was agreed that there shall be an independent electoral and boundary commission. First, it was IIECC, the interim. After that, then it was changed to IEBC. And then it was agreed that now there shall be nine members. And from the nine members, they shall elect their chairperson. Then it was amended. When was it amended? It was amended 2017 that from nine members, let us reduce them, reduce them to six. And there was a clear reason why it was being amended like that. So from there, I want to understand this one, whether you take it to the court of law or court of justice, the justice that will be there, the question will be presented. Was there an IBC? That's the first question that they will, was there an IBC in the Republic of Kenya? By the time Kindiki's papers were presented to them, that is it. And what I'm telling you, whether the commissioners are not there, the secretariat is the employee of the commissioner who are vetted by the commissioner. Can they announce the election? Which? Which one? Who can clarify? The secretariat is headed by the CEO. That is the secretariat, they're not the secretariat. Their job is to implement. And the commissioners? The commissioners are, are policy makers. That's what is there. Can you wind up in the ah, As I proceed, I, I, I'm winding up. I am winding up. Let him wind up. As I wind up, sometimes you have to understand that this our constitution that was promulgated 2010, it had some uh, weaknesses. And it was agreed that 20% of it were not good. And that's why 
we were given time to see whether we can implement the part that were good so that we implement my brother he's winding up sir he's winding up i will only answer that question when he presented a valid document to me where i will also argue with that without any valid document i can't argue with the hearsay for me to argue with him i must have a valid document where it is written the way you are stating do you have it my brother you have to prevent present an evidence to me back to the politics as i wind up the politics as i wind up the politics I'm going to give you so that you talk. As I wind up, as I wind up, I can't massage the ego of everybody here. This Kenyan constitution accepted majority and minority. And with that one now, the National Assembly, majority of them, 200, uh, 280, had their say. In the Senate, majority, three quarters of them had their say. Now, uh, honorable members, I will urge you that now we become a way the verdict of the IBC, or not, sorry, 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 of the court. Whatever in court, we should not speculate it outside. Because now the case is active in court, and the lawyers of both parties are arguing, are presenting their cases to be heard before the three judges that were appointed by the judge, the high court judge, by the Supreme Court judge. <laughs> Let us now become as we the verdict. I know the verdict will be good and we shall respect that. 2022, we, ne we never agreed with the court, but we respected their ruling. That's called justice. That's how justice is served under a democratic country. Last but not least, we need peace. We need p which information? Yes. Me are just joking. Sorry, don't get me. Me, I don't know how to speak Swahili. Ah. Uh, But that is very simple. An impeachment, an impeachment is a pol political process. The only way we get, we, we come to court, come to check whether it was conducted as per the law. Impeachment is a political process. Court will only come to confirm whether they follow the law or they didn't follow the law. So from there, they will pronounce themselves. This is a political process. What will you do if now court say it is okay? The same way you protested under the housing levy. The court itself already pronounced that it was collective pro uh, nini, uh, executed. The court only came to confirm whether the law was followed or what law was not followed. Yes. Whether the law was compli uh, complied with or not. Impeachment is a political process. Take it to the bank. That's why the court says that we cannot interfere with the processes of the two, or of the body of the, uh, the this arm, legislature. Their main function is to make, amend, approve. They did their part. Now the function of the judiciary is just to come to confirm. Did you comply with the law or not? Question, was the IBC there or not? <laughs> I'm just saying that they will only come to confirm. And should they confirm that there was IBC, what will you do? And that, that, that's where the case collapsed. The case will collapse on Friday. So just expect it, because according to us, we always see where the wind blow, uh, blows towards. This wind, the way it is blowing. How can you be a judge at the same time you are a lawyer? Decide one job. Alienda kafanya ATP, Advocate Training Program, vizuri ya kailewa. You can only be one person there. You can only be a listener or somebody that is now also listening to the other side. So uh, the lawyers of Gashagwa, prepare yourself. Ongoya, you had a very big English. 
we want you now to speak English where now people who can speak English are there. We delegate, delegated our part to them. Sasa mzunguze yo kingereza. Kuroza mna kijena kuja by Friday. Court is going to pronounce themselves and prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Me, I'm prepared. I am ready. So thank you with those few remarks. Thank you, thank you, Malimu. Sovereign power belongs to the people, okay?